Hey there, boys and girls. I'm going to show you how to draw a poodle. Um, here's an example of what we could draw. You might not be in the mood to draw a poodle. Maybe you would rather draw a French bulldog with a crown. Maybe you are in the mood to draw a poodle. So let me um, show you how to draw a poodle. And if you want to go a different creative route, uh, please don't hold back. Um, go with your heart, whatever it is you're in the mood to draw. So when I draw my poodle, I'm going to start with this little face. Draw a little face. Kind of like a sideways U. And I'm going to give him some... Um, first I want to give him a hat that kind of looks like a kidney bean a little bit. Whoops. That one's getting away from me a little bit. Okay, and then right where it dips, maybe you have the little topper right there of the hat. And then kind of like back in the 80s, like this poodle has cool feathered hair. And then let's give this poodle some eyeballs. Here's an eyeball. There's an eyeball. And then a little nose. Kind of an ovaly nose. Okay. Then like a really poofy ear. Back in the 80s. 80s or 90s, actually. All right, then I want to continue the poof. Have it go all the way around. Let's kind of erase those overlapping lines. All right. When I draw my dog, I want my dog to have Four legs, and I kind of want those legs to be around the same size. Kind of want them. Okay, and then on those four legs, I want to have a little pause. thick of legs anywhere. And then I want to kind of put pom-poms on his legs. Here's a pom-pom. Here's a pom-pom. Everywhere a pom-pom. I want to have his little tail. Pom-pom there. And then I want to go around and I want to um, kind of erase those overlapping lines. see those overlapping red lines, I want to get rid of those. But keep the ones on top, so the poof ball around his little legs is super cute. Alright, when, oh, you know what, I, this, this one's a little too long, I want to make it a little. There we go. Okay, I want to give him some toes. Just little lines there to kind of accentuate his toes. And then I think I want to put a rose over here, so maybe a swirly.
maybe a leaf over here and a leaf over there. Kind of put a line there to kind of show the leaf. And I think I might want to put a tulip over here. So kind of do a U. And then a little tulip thing on the top. And then a stem of some sort. And give this tulip some leaves. And then, you know, I think I want to give it some hearts. Maybe a heart here, and here, and here. And you know what? Maybe just a... Just a leafy type thing. A heart. And a heart there. all around. So I kind of have some flowers and some hearts. Alright, when I'm happy with all my little hearts and flowers, I am going to take my dark colored crayon or marker and I am over all of my lines like this. boys and girls there we go abracadabra all right so there we go you know what though we need one more little thing poof yep I just we just needed a little bit of polka dots 
Um, okay, boys and girls, so here's an example of something um, that you could draw. You can color it whatever color you want. You can go on a totally different direction if you'd like. Um, it's totally up to you what you create and how you make it. Thank you so much, boys and girls.